Yes, for the most part. that come in from, um, from other salons. And um, throughout the years, I've just kind of picked up on certain things um, to help with poodle top knots. And it's all about setting up uh, your dots and connecting the dots and setting yourself up for the next step. So uh, his face is already shaved. One of the main things I see is that people do not go all the way to the ear canal. So with him, so you're gonna go from the corner of the eye all the way back to this ear canal and shave out this ear canal. And that also is gonna remind you to pluck the ear hair out. And we're gonna come down here and make this beat. Now I already did this, but I'm just kind of making the lines for you to see. I go down as far as the nose would go down if it touched the chin, and then you can make that angle there. Okay, so once you do the clean face, we're going to fluff everything up, make sure everything's combed out. Okay, so the first thing that I do, now he has thinner hair, so I'm going to do a lot of this with chunkers to give it a little bit more texture. <laughs> and to help it stand up a little bit more. So, I'm doing this so that you guys can see it and I can see it at the same time. It's a little bit more difficult, but. So I always start, I flop the ear back, comb everything over to this side. Okay. And we're gonna go straight up and down from underneath here. And if you do this with um, thinners or chunkers, it just helps it stand up a little bit better, especially with the, these dogs that have thinner top knots that tend to fall down. Again, I'm going straight up and down. So this is blended in pretty tight here. Okay. There, you can't see an actual line there. It's all blended. Okay, straight up and down on that side. <laughs> and while I'm here, I'm going to take these and I'm going to come in at an angle, almost like I'm doing a schnauzer eyebrow. From the tip of the nose, I'm going to make a V to the corner of that eye. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, which is this side. You'll be able to see a little bit better. I'm gonna comb everything over to this side. Flop this ear back. I'm gonna take my chunkers and I'm gonna go straight up and down from this side. I'm just going to make that flat. Okay, and then while I'm here, Reba, I'm going to come back up front from the corner, from the tip of the nose to the corner of that eye. We're going to make a V there. Okay. Once I do that, then we're going to comb everything up this way. Fluff it up here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my curves. And instead of coming straight across the front here, that's what um, kind of gives them a flat, uh, a flat looking front of the top knot. I'm actually going to come towards the bottom here. Reba! And I'm going to kind of connect this here and make a bubble. Hold on. Come on. 
on this side. So you can see here, I, kinda, I could have pinched this a little bit better with the um, little clippers. Merlot! Okay, but we're gonna take this and we're gonna do it out, all right? So then, now before I touch any of this, so the top of this should be the last, shh. This will be the last thing you touch, okay? You're setting yourself up for that. After I do that, we're gonna pull the ear, we're gonna do the, pull the ear forward, like so. I'm gonna see if I can angle this a little bit better for you guys here. Oh, that's a little better. As long as the dogs don't knock it down. All right, so I pull this ear up. Calm, fluff. He doesn't have too much of a crest here. This is more of a pet cut. But we're gonna take this and so this right here is where I'm lined up, actually. So if you need to take some hair off. There. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take the hair off back here to blend this into the neck. Now, I did not take my clippers up here. I stopped my clippers about right here at the shoulder, and I can blend all of this in. Okay? So even though he doesn't get much of a crest... I still leave enough to blend so that he doesn't look like a bobblehead. Okay? So I do behind the ear, and what that does is it sets up your mark for separating the ear from the top knot. So then you can come in here and connect those two dots that you just set up. Okay, to make the separation of the ear and the top knot. These chunkers are flippers, so I can use the um, the straight part to kind of use do my separating. Okay, and then I'll do this side for you. I know why. Okay, so we're gonna lift the ear up to make sure that we got this blended, and then we're gonna pull it forward. And we're gonna take this and blend it into the neck here. Take this in tight. And then when you come back this way, I'm gonna do this. And then we're gonna separate this top knot. But see how you've already set up your line here? You've set up your line here. So the only thing that you're doing, Reba, my dog's so bad, is connecting those two pieces, those two dots. Okay, so we started back here, blended this, all right, and then we connected to what we did first, which was up here. So I have not touched any of this at all, but I've set up everything that I need to connect the top knot to blend it, okay? So now all we have to do is come back in here, we fluff everything up, right? I always start from here to blend it around here because I've already set everything else up and I want it to be um, a shorter, more practical pet cut, but at the same time, I want it to have that nice round poodle top knot. So I'm going to start up here, kind of 
clean up my lines here of what I did. And all I'm doing is I'm looking at the silhouette. Okay, and I'm using my chunkers just because it does have um, a thinner top knot that tends to fall to the side and this gives it a little bit more texture. So I'm starting from here and I'm rounding it up and then I'm connecting it to back here where I set it. Reba, shut up. Okay. And so basically I do all of this side. I do his left side from looking at, from standing on his right side. And I look at the silhouette from that side, round it all around, connect my dots. And then when I come to this side, I'm sorry, I know what I have to do. I know. Fluff it back up. Blend that just a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to start here, like I did on the other side. And I'm going to round that back. So, even though you're still leaving like the shape of the top knot that you want, and leaving that little bubble, it's still short. It's not going to go right into, it's not going to grow right into his eyes, but at the same time, it's not that flat fronted, ran into a wall type of look. And so now I'm just kind of connecting all of it together, blending it in, looking at it from all angles, making sure that it's round. So that doing this part should be the last thing you do. And the only thing that you're doing is blending in all of the things that you already set up for yourself. Thinners and chunkers definitely give it a little bit more texture, especially for these little dogs. So that it it helps it stand up a little bit straighter. And then also you can come from behind here. That's okay, fine. So when I'm like when I think that I'm done scissoring and blending, I come from back here and I look at the I look at the back silhouette here. And I just make sure, hey! Go on, get out of here. Why? Why? And then I go here and make sure that all of my roundness is fluid from every angle. Okay? And then if I run into like pointy spots, we'll keep blending. But this is still the last part of the top knot, the last part of the dog that I do on the table. In just to kind of tighten up the line sometimes if I have to. Yeah. That should do it. What do you guys think? So now I'll do his ears. But setting yourself up under here, setting the pool face up setting up back here, rounding it from there. So setting up all of your points um, so, and then connecting those connecting those dots together. Um, those are kind of the key things with uh, Doodle Pop. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I use my um, Sarasota shears. These are chunkers. You can flip them back and forth so you can, uh, you know, have control of the straight edge or the chunker part. And... <laughs> Pumps always play right here. There we go. There. Okay. Any questions? Alright. I'll finish his ears, but I just wanted to kind of show you how we did that. Also, tails. A lot of times we see um, 
<clears throat> poodles that come in with these, I, we call them flag tails, right? And so somebody shaves like the base of it and then just cuts off the end of it and then that's it. Um, and so that's not how they're supposed to be. So I've already shaved around the base of his tail, but I will show you something that I learned. No, the tip of the tail shouldn't go above the top of their uh, head. So, once you trim off the end, so now some people just leave it like this, right? But that's not how it's supposed to be. I don't care if you're doing a pet cut. Um, it still needs to look like a poodle tail. And this is probably one of my biggest pet, pet peeves when I see dogs come from other places that don't have the, the knowledge of this. So, once you trim off the end of the poodle tail, you're going to come back in here, and actually there's a couple of other uh, very experienced show groomers that use their little clippers to bevel the bottom of this tail also. And then you're going to take off. This part is not to be shaved more than a finger's width, okay? And we're going to bevel this up. And so now anything a more actual poodle tail, even if you're doing can you put her somewhere? See that? Much better. No flag tail. Still looks like a poodle. Can you take Merlot and put her somewhere, please? That one? Yeah. Like, put her back somewhere? Yeah. 